Hi everybody, I am Matteo, uh, back on my stream. So, uh, first thing, as I did last time, I'm going to do a quick tweet uh, to tell people that I'm online. Most of my following is on Twitter, so because of that, I just need to share that I'm going to tweet. Um, going online, um, uh, let's do it. So, going online with my live stream... Um, with my live stream right now uh, join me on twitch here we go um shared so please uh, retweet it i'm going to copy the link and paste it over here so that you can see um i just need to paste manually cool okay and so you can retweet it so that people can join whatever um, so yay, um, that's cool, right? Um, so that's the first thing. Um, so what are we going to do today? Um, we are going to do a little bit of, a uh, little bit of things, um, uh, on, um, uh, quite a bit of things today. We're going to recap what gone, what was wrong last time, what did not work. And then, uh, we will, um, do uh, a little bit of what did not work last time on, on Undici and then do uh, a little bit of uh, sorry on Fastify and then do a little bit of coding on um, on Undici to bring it to V19 because I actually fixed the problem with Fastify so to recap okay this, is, this did not matter so GitHub um, Fastify. So let's share. Let's let's go. A let's take a look a little bit on my uh, on my work of last time. So let's go into Chrome. Okay, here you go. And then we have the Node V19 support already six days ago. So after I finished my stream, I was a super a little bit frustrated that I couldn't fix it. So I actually fix it. Uh, I actually spent a um, Friday morning. Um, looking at this and I actually like I ended up fixing the stuff uh, which was not a lot of work okay so as you can see here it's uh, um, it was tiny a bunch of tiny fixes to do so maybe the, a bunch of tiny fixes that I did most of these was actually tests like the, there is a little bit of change in content parse, a little bit of change in route, and a few changes in tests. So let's talk a look at, yeah, you know, everybody, every single people, you know, gets uh, tripped into a long list of debugging session, and then it was no, absolutely not that the problem. Cool. So let's do a little bit of recap on on what's happening with, uh, with Fastify and... Uh, uh, um, and the, the and closing and when you shut down a, a process okay so fastify as an asynchronous so if you go into uh, fastify.io you can see it here you can look at the force close connection option um, so here you can see um, that you can control um, uh, uh, you, you can control uh, what to do when close is called and essentially um, uh, what to do with it, okay? It, especially, and this has been changed in Node, uh, in Node 18 too. So let's start with Node 16, okay? So let's go into the terminal so that I can actually show you. Um, so let's create a folder to test this. Uh, make dear, um, uh, do 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 stream, what day is today? is the uh, 27 is 10 27 okay so let's go into stream 10 27 okay and pm in it oh okay and vm use 16 cool okay we have node 16 um so uh npm in it dash y let's get a little bit of a project npm i fastify and undici we'll need both of them to do to do with Hi folks, uh, welcome to, to my channel, okay? And uh, yeah, pretty happy to have you all here. If you have any questions, please uh, write in the chat. I will tend to reply as, as soon as it comes through, okay? And uh, yay, thank you. Thank you for joining. So let's, let's, uh, let's add a little bit of our stuff. So uh, we are, um, what are we going to do? I'm going to explain what I did, uh, what was the problem last time 
and how I fixed it. So I and I didn't fix it on the stream. So this is the PR that I am actually explaining what I've done and how to what's what's the problem. So in Node 16, let's start with Node 16. So we let's say that we have a server, okay. And it's in here we do uh, use strict because you always need to put use strict on a file, and then you have your fastify instance, okay? Your fastify your fastify dependency, cool. Then we do uh, fastify dot uh, we do const app and fastify. Cool. We want the logger because uh, yeah, might be useful. Level trace. Cool. Let's log everything. And then up get. Cool. Then what I want, I want promiseify. Okay. And util. Then const uh, sleep. And what I can do is I can promiseify set timeout. Okay, so now here let's do an await sleep. Um, let's wait for five seconds so you can you can see the difference. Okay, and then return a low word, and then up a listen port three thousand. Okay, so this is the default. Um, this is the default code. So uh, let's do node server here. Oh, uh, yeah, I have some other stuff open. So let me actually go and stop that. Cool. Something I was working on before. Cool. Okay, this is working. So now I can do npx pin pretty. So here we go. We have printing some st pretty printing some stuff. So this is actually working. Okay. So let's do node server nvm use 16 and node server npx pino pretty. So this is running on this on this on this tab. Okay, so we have here we can write some more code. Now let's write a client, okay? And if, uh, let's write a client. So for the client, I am going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to use an MJS file because I am uh, I am a little bit uh, frustrated and I want a sync await. Otherwise it's really ugly. I want top level await. So, okay, uh, we have client and then we can create our client. Cool, okay, and then we can do await. Okay. And client request and path method get, cool. And then, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so cool, right? Let's go into our uh, into our oh, into our other tab and do a curl. Oh, and do an oh, and do a node uh, client. You see that this stays on for five for a little bit longer. Why does this is happening? Okay. Uh, it's happening. Uh, well, it's uh, okay. It's happening because it's waiting five seconds to to get the thing. Um, uh, to, to get the thing going, okay? Now, let's do here uh, a few uh, uh, a few more requests. Uh, yes, I actually fixed it. I released the new version of Undici. Now, if you can go npm show Undici. For some reason, uh, npm publish failed before. Now, it's it's correct, okay? It's, uh, you can see that it's uh, 5.12. So, yeah, it, it should be there. Uh, so, okay, so here, let's do it, um, let's do it once, and then let's do it another time, okay? So we are here, and then you can see, oh, sorry, um, we need to do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. So now I can run it. You can see wait five seconds, and then it uh, it gets oh you, unusable. What? The, oh yes, yes, I made a mistake. Yes, of course. I need to make two requests. 
So I make two requests, one after each other. Okay, so I'm doing, I'm doing two requests, one after each other, and then I'm getting the first response, and then I'm getting the second response. After five seconds, cool. And then the, the client terminates, okay? And so that's second, okay. So now we can, you can see that he's doing his job. Okay, um, so what I'm, I'm still working on the, I'm explaining what I did yesterday, okay? So if, if I'm, uh, what I'm doing, what I, sorry, what I did, what I did last time, and it's, uh, so if I'm going to, uh, uh, so last time I was trying to get Fastify to work on Node.js v19, and I'm actually explaining what I did and why I went into a goose change, goose change uh, last time, and I was actually in a, um, and I made a mistake essentially. So, and I'm going. I'm actually explaining uh, what I thought I, I knew, and I didn't. Anyway, so this is the gist. Okay, so um, we have our client doing two requests at the same time. Okay, now uh, uh, let's open. Let's go back to our server, and in our server here, nice, right? It's a very simple server. Okay, now. Uh, we want, let's say that you want to add a, gra a graceful shutdown. What is a graceful shutdown? Well, I don't want to inter I don't want to kill the process if like right now, if, if I'm going into, oh, sorry, if I'm going, wait, sorry, ah, in here, um, sorry, just a second, I am in a, um, I am in a weird good change of, okay, uh, let's, let's try something. Okay. If I'm running this, this client, okay. And I, uh, uh while these requests are going and I press control C, you'll see that the request is crashing. Okay. It's, it's crashing with, a uh, um, other side closed. Okay, so I don't want to, this to happen, uh, and um, so what I'm going to do, well, if when I'm coding an app, I'm going to use a module called. It's you can find it as under I'm Colina, and ooh, I don't know why it's taking so long to load GitHub. GitHub, be with me. Okay, oh my face is big here. Okay, Grace. Oh, close with grace. Okay, this is the name of the module. It's a tiny little module that enables graceful shutdown for you. Um, so uh, basically, you can just uh, install it, close with grace, and it will work. So uh, close with grace, and then here you do. Oh, you get close with grace, and then you do close with grace with let's say a delay of. Um, uh, Let's put it at 10 seconds, okay? And then here you do await app.close. So what does this do? This implements the graceful shutdown pattern, okay? And it's, uh, uh, sorry, here it is. This implements the graceful shutdown pattern. So what we have done, we have required in close with grace and uh, uh, we have uh, created the, uh, uh, and we have put in a era delay so that it it's wait 10 seconds before before crashing everything so let's try again so i'm running my server i'm starting my client and if i hit control c wait sorry i did it wrong if i hit control c on the server you see that the server has not crashed and then it returns on the first one it returns it the first response completes correctly the second one returns service unavailable status 503. Does it make sense? Okay. So what's changed? So this is node 16. Okay. Uh, what has changed in node um, 18? So let's switch to node 18. And now I can do uh, node server, same as before node client 
and then if I stop my server, you will see that something has changed here. Okay, now it's crashing immediately. This is a difference in behavior between node, uh, various versions of node. Okay, cool. Oh, sorry, made it wrong. Here, and if I crash, this crashes big time. Okay. Uh, what I can put here. Uh, what I can put here is force, um, what was the name of this option, okay? I never remember the name of the option of my framework, okay? Force close connection, idle. Okay. I might have found another bug, by the way. So just a second. Let me just do one quick check because I didn't expect. So this it should be for a zero. Okay. This is the version of last time, or maybe for last. Let me check which version. Let me check which Fastify version. Um. So uh, last week. Here we go. Fastify. And during the stream, I had we ten days ago four nine uh, one. Wait a second, ten days ago, so nine days ago. Oh, okay. I didn't it it landed, but was not released, so it's still the same. Okay, cool. So it's fine then. So it's totally fine. So here we go, and here, okay. So. Okay, 9.2. Okay, so NPMI. Okay, so we have Fastify, current Fastify version. Okay. So, the logic that we want to implement is this uh, close with grace implementation. Okay. Mm, yep. Node uh, client. And this is. idle huh hello hi folks we are still fighting the close with grace problem and interesting let's put force close connection false here let's see what's going up what's happening it's still closing Very interesting stuff. Hi, folks. Um, I'm going to go in another goose change, uh, goose chase on the force close stuff, force close behavior. So, again, some more in depth stuff on uh, Undici and uh, so more in depth stuff on Fastify force close, uh, Fastify uh, idle. So, what we want to achieve here, okay, it's uh, we have. This, uh, this little file um, that implement a close with grace. Here I can say um, app log info uh, closing and closed. Okay, let's do that. And if I hit control C, ooh, what? Okay. Uh, let's keep it that way. If I hit Control C, it says closing. Okay, cool. Ha! Ah, I I know now what was the problem. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, sorry, sorry about this. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I'm very happy. Um, so let's do here. Is let's change that update the logger here, and. So I know what was happening and why things were not working. Damn me. So transport. So we are adding our logger, which is pinot, our transport, which is pinot pretty. 
So we want to print stuff. And npm i pin of pretty. So we have colorful logs. Okay. So now here where I can do node server. Ooh. Um, uh, should be this. Okay, it's working as expected. Okay. So we have node server. Okay. I can do node client. And if I hit control C here, you see that it stays closing. Stays waits waits for closing, and then it's uh, it's still working the same. Okay. This is node 18 and node 16. They do the same. However, there has been a change in the implementation of between those two systems. Okay. On the node 16 version, we were using um, uh, on on the node 16 ver on the node. Um, uh, 16 version we're using something internally built by fastify now uh, this has been used by um, uh, this is being uh, uh, it uses some internal mechanism of, of node core cool what is this mechanism it's the if you go into node you can get it as node.js api and you can go in http oh this is probably small so in you can go here and you see that there is close idle connections and this is it okay it's close all connection and that of the server of the stuff cool so okay so why we need to return a 503 and what does a 503 mean so when we are shutting down our server for every connection that is incoming we return a 503 to the caller so that the, uh, the the router, the reverse proxy or whatever you're using for doing load balancing, can go and go somewhere else. Okay, so you can find 503 uh, meaning um, HTTP status code uh, meaning, and it says service unavailable. You can go to MTN, and uh, uh, basically it's. Uh, uh, common causes are a server that is down or for maintainers or zero overloaded and basically it goes to the another server okay basically you tell the the typical behavior of nginx of other things is to go to another server when there is a 503 okay so um uh, how do we do it how how do we fix it how what so what's changed and uh, uh in 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 node okay now, if I am using node 19, okay, uh, it, so it does not retry on post requests. Post requests are not idempotent, so I think it does, though, for 503s, okay? Um, yes, not idempotent requests. I think it does because the 503 means it's not available, okay? So I think it's safe to retry. I think, um, but I will need to check. So um, uh, let's let's do let's do a little bit of checks. So nginx uh, five hundred three. Let's see. Um, no, no, probably not the correct article. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh, duh, 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 duh. um, proxy pass. Okay, Quora is going to help me. And um, so, okay, you can see this is the logic. And uh, I don't know. Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, you see, it's a question of. Uh, the answer is. Uh, 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 it doesn't. It does not retry by default. Uh, however, it uh, you can configure to retry by default. So hey, we have the answer. Okay, thank you, um, um, serverfault.com. You were very useful here. 
So, okay, uh, going back to our code. Okay, what changed in node 19? So we run our server, we run our client, and when I hit control C here, you see it's waiting five seconds, okay? And it still works the same. But there is a phenomenal, so there has been a significant change underneath, okay? When you go in, um, so in client, okay, right now we are doing two requests. Um, sorry, just a second. So the server, I am eating this, control seeing it, it still return the 503. Okay. Okay. So in here, what we can do? So this is uh, this creates this this thing. Um, we can put uh, pipelining two. Just a second. Sorry, folks. Sorry. Okay, just sorry, folks. Things are getting weird at home today. Okay, and uh, just a second, sorry, folks. I need to go uh, offline for a sec. I will be back. Sorry, folks. I am back. Uh, sorry, folks. Um, things got a little bit weird at home, and I had to deal with something very urgent outside. So, um, okay, we are back. Okay. Um, so, uh, where are where were we? Okay, completely destroying my concentration for this stream. So, um, command two, command three, okay, so here we are, okay, so this is my folder, okay, so, the catch is on, let's do a little bit of a change in my client to demonstrate, here, so the client, um, the the way Unity works, you keep a keep a live socket going. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to get a set timeout from uh, um, timers promises, and then do an await uh, set timeout a, a second or something. Why is this complaining? Oh, I haven't closed. Okay, so let's let's try it again. It still work as expected. Very interesting. Uh -huh. uh, question, uh, do, I, I'm going to tell you, think it is worth for a Node developer to contribute to Node Core for personal growth? Uh, probably Node Core is pretty hard, the, the, but it's, uh, it's also totally okay. So uh, I would say it depends what you want to do in life. Okay, If you want to contribute to open source, it's fine. If you don't want, you can grow in some other ways. It was a clear way for me to grow my career. So, um, yeah, essentially. Okay, so, um, here we go. Um, where were we? Uh, okay, so here it's keeping the connection open. Let's put a little bit more timer here. A longer timer. Super interesting stuff, by the way.
node server. There. Hmm. Okay. Hi, folks. Uh, we are still implementing the um, graceful closing in, in, in fa sorry, graceful shutdown in Fastify and showing the difference between 18 and 19. And why the server was having a little bit of, um, we were having a little bit of problem in, in my code before. And we still have some problem today, so. Happy days. Explaining things to you is actually very hard. So, <laughs> okay. I'm trying to reproduce the problem in a way that is, oops. and this is again, because, okay, fine. And here we go. We have the server and the client. Okay, next to each other. Okay, so here we go. This starts, this quits. I hit control C here, stays closing. And then the second connection is still open, and then it 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 completes. Okay. Oh yes, I know the problem. I know what was. Yeah. In order to simulate this, I need a uh, common shoe. You see, I need another thing, and it's um, when I create the server. Runs every thirty seconds. So the problem, the the idle check runs every thirty seconds. I think, yes, runs every thirty seconds. Okay. So um, where it? Can I configure it? Let's see. Max requirement. So. <coughs> um, event no. Ah, that is no Raphael today. Hi, folks. Uh, that helps me with this stuff. That let's look at the, at the top and see where we are at. So the server. Um, keep a light timeout. Request timeout. Add account. Close the connection. Create server. Okay. Ha. Connection. This is the interval. Connection checking interval. Okay. Uh, it is 30 seconds. Okay. So in order to simulate the problem, I need to actually increase this to uh, 30 seconds. It needs to delay this to a minute and have here a timeout of 30 seconds. Now you will see the difference. Okay. Hopefully. NVM use um, 18. Sorry, NVM use 16. And then I'm running my server. I'm running my client. I am hitting Control C here, and you'll see that it's waiting. Now, okay. And says other side closed. Wait a second. Is Undici keep alive by default? Yes, Undici is keep alive by default. So that's what we are doing. And just a second. Um, so, okay. Okay, no dash V 16. Hmm. What version of Fondici? Yeah, the last one. Interesting. Sorry, what did I change? Because 
makes no sense. Okay, let's put it back at 5,000. Okay, so I'm starting from scratch. Here, I'm hitting Control C, and now this crashes. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sorry, folks. Uh, uh -huh. I completely keep forgetting about this. So here I'm back. Um, so let's, let's, here is the screen. Okay. Oh, sorry. <sighs> keep making a mistake. I really need to go to buy a, a stream deck for this because otherwise things are going to get very weird. Keep going very weird very soon. Anyway, um, so here we are. So we ha I have the server. And I have the client, and then I can hit Control C's. I use the alt keys, but I keep not looking what I need to. Very uh, quick ways of checking which stream I am. I'm. Uh, um, so the expect result here. What I want to achieve, it's. Uh, um, so I want to show the difference between various node versions. Okay. And let's put. Okay, this was it. Um, so this was what we had at the beginning. Okay. So what I want to show is uh, uh, when I receive a control C and the process crashes, the process should exhaust the requests that are in place. And let me write this down. Okay, uh, we want uh, to have we want the process to be uh, to wait for my responses uh, for all rec all incoming requests to complete to all in flight in flight requests to complete before closing before exiting that's what we want to achieve okay and all of this behavior is to achieve exactly that in the best way possible, okay? So now I, am, I can start my server and run my client and then hit Control C and the client is um, crashing, okay? But it shouldn't, so big time. What changed here because I... So close. Um, okay, so I'm running this. This is very reliably crashing. So if I do this, closing. Yes, okay. You see, this was a difference. <laughs> uh, this is getting so much fun. Okay, let's keep it at uh, the client in node 16, and then we'll, we'll talk a little bit about what's happening later on. Cool. So, we have the node server, okay, and I am running this, and I'm getting my requests, and if I hit Control c on the server, it's... Oh, I made it wrong. So, I, I'm running the server, I'm running my client, I'm hitting Ctrl C on the server, and it's closing, okay, and then the client, on the second request, it returned a 5, the server returned a 503, which means, which tells the server, the uh, reverse proxy, please try again on another host. Cool, okay? Now, what changed in different versions of Node? Okay, so this is Node 16, okay? We can flip to node 18. Oh, and VM use 18. With node 18, okay, the behavior should stay the same. Yeah, make a mistake. Sorry. 
So I might node 16, node 18. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Node server. And node client. It's actually get closed as uh, sending first request, other side closed. Doesn't look like it works as expected though. Okay. So I think we still have some bugs in this logic, to be honest. So let's, let's dig a little bit into what's happening here. So what we can do to debug these things is I can do HTTP node debug HTTP node server and oh okay this works this is goal going get expected cool okay let's try again I'm running this, I am hitting control C here, and the server is actually closing without getting me a response. Ha, huh, very interesting. Okay, so other side closed. Might be that my, we might still have a bug in Undici, to be honest, so we'll see. Um, so let's try something different. Okay. Let's do okay. Let's let's do something different. Okay. So let's do curl minor dash v localhost three thousand. Ooh, three thousand. Okay. Now I can take okay, I'm going to do something very odd um, okay I'm going to pass this here Ooh. we pass this here cool and I'm going to copy this up so now I can Mm, yeah. Ah, yeah. I. It's returning with a four. What's the problem? Client error. Ha, ha Yeah. I didn't like me. me making a mess out of it. Okay. Fortunately, that didn't work as I expected it to. Okay. So let's go back to my original plan of using Undici to track this. So we have the server and we have Undici. And we are sending the first request, and then we are hitting Control C, and this is crashing because only the other side closed, um, which it should not do that, to be honest. So um, let's do a little bit of debugging on what's happening in here. So uh, when I typically go and debug, I typically enter up node modules and open things up in there and see what's going on. So the error stack trace is lib client 966. So lib client 966, okay, and then here I can actually do console log this to see what's going on. So here I'm running this and then I am crashing this up and then this should have a bunch of data that might be very much useful, hopefully. So let's see what's going on. Socket, okay, this is the socket. And um, we have the LHTTP, and there is the client object, my client object, cool. And um, yeah, pending. Uh -huh. Big question on how all of this works. Cool. Uh, Um, 
So... So this socket is being closed, other side closed, and it's... Oh, parser status closed and should keep alive. Okay, so... Let's put a console log of this. Console log, parser status code, and parser should keep alive. And here we go. Okay, so we start this, we run the client, and we crash it. Okay, and it says null and false. Cool. So on socket closed. It's closing too early. Huh. Now, let's try something interesting. So let's go into side node modules. And the MM. Oh, sorry, no. Let's not do that. Okay, so we go inside Undici, go inside Fastify here. Okay, and in here. We go inside route, and there is a destroy. Yes, here we go. So you see this. This is where we destroy the socket. I'm going to comment this out because I think this is the bug. Huh. And then I'm in control C here. Nope. Didn't work as expected either. Hmm. Yeah, because, sorry, oh, but this is not this one. It's not this one. It's not this one. Huh. So if it's not this one, it is in a Ha, here we go. I'm scratching my head because node modules, cd fastify, okay, cd lib, grab, destroy, let's see, and finish, destroy. Interesting, okay. No, do, 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 do. Wait a second. Okay. Let's go and check a little bit here how my PR did the work. Okay. And what? So basically, we have two options here. One is a force code connection idle in node, uh, and then Force clone connection. Okay. So let's go back and check these options. Okay. And so let's go back in here and check what was going on in close. Um, but it's not here, I think. Oh, yeah, it's here. Okay. So let's do console log A, B and see okay so now we know where it's passing through node server node client it's passing through a okay it's going through close idle connection There might be a bug in node core after all. So row debug. Row debug is synchronous blocking. Okay. 
closing all idle connection. All idle connections closed. Okay. And ah, interesting. Let's try removing a little bit our transport here, which might do a little bit of oddities. So I'm doing this. And if I'm hitting Control C, oh, not here. If I'm hitting Control C, it's not sending out my response. So this is a bug in Node Core. Cool. And if I go and switch to node 19, it's still doing the same. Okay, so let's try do a core.js. Oh, no, I don't need this. In here, let's do e core dot. Let's copy this e core dot js. And in here, oh no, didn't want to do that. So yeah, let's do okay. Ah, I lose control of my keyboard. Okay, so we get create server require HTTP. And then we got sleep, okay? So in here, oh, we don't need this. We need close with grace. So with this, what we are doing is const server and we do create server, okay? And then here, set timeout, okay? And then, yay, perfect, after five seconds, cool. And here I need to do server.listen, passing 3000 as the port. And here I need to do promisify app uh, server.close.bind server. And then it's we call it this. Okay. And here switching off. Process, row debug, closing, process, row debug, closed. Okay, this is the exact same thing implemented with a node core, node client. Oh, why is printing closing? Sorry. Oh, okay. No, it's fine. So I'm running the client and then... Yeah, but... Ah, might have made a mistake here. What's the error? Oh. Haha. <laughs> I have a typo. Set timeout. Okay. Thank you. And... Uh, Okay, let's do that. Okay, we have our client in node core. I hit control C and then first response and second response comes back as other side closed. Cool. So this works. So this which node dash V19. Okay. So NVM use uh, 16. Okay, what's this code? What does this code do in node 16? Okay, in node 16, this code, if I hit control C here, it runs and then the second one, it's, it gives me an error, okay? In uh, a node NVM use 18, in node 18, oh, node server, this, oh, not node server, node 
Node4.js. It's um, what's happening is I am control seeing this. Then it's uh, working the same. Okay. However, what I can do here is if server dot close all calls either connections. If it has this, I am actually going to call it. Okay. So uh, this promise will resolve when all connection has been closed. So node uh, core.js cool. Here I made a mistake. So this is the signal. Just a second signal error. Let's see exactly what that parameter is with closest grades. Oh, signal error manual. Signal error. Okay, so I need to do okay something like this. So if I do core client control C closing exactly. Okay, so the first one. So this is node dash v. This is node eighteen. In node eighteen, this closes the socket. If I have, if instead I am in my client. And if uh, so, if oh sorry, if I if I don't do that, okay, if I don't do that, and node core, the client will stay up. Up until this, you see it's sorry, it's not staying up. Uh, closed. Okay, interesting. Ah, yes, true. We need. Need this. Okay. No. Ha, yes, sorry, that's the problem. This needs to be ten seconds. Let's put it at 20. So. Not core, I'm sending the client. I'm hitting control C. Okay. So now should be that it's getting two requests and responding correctly at both. Okay. So this is the behavior that you will get if, uh, if you do nothing on node 18 with, with a Kepa Lab connection. So basically, the server will finish all the con incoming requests um, until the sockets are closed. Note that even if we put in, a, let's say we put a timeout here in between of uh, 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 five seconds in between. So console log waiting for uh, two seconds. Let's keep it short. Um, I'm putting this in. So I'm doing node core.js and I'm running my client and then I'm hitting control C here uh, the client will stay up um, essentially forever up until um, it's finished processing all requests okay now if I turn on close if I run close idle connections what changes not core I'm running node client. I'm hitting control C. Nothing change. Okay. Still the same. 
Great. However, let's do a little bit of a change. So let's say that we write for five seconds here. And I'm going to time it very closely. And I'm running this, I'm running the client. And as soon as I get the second response, I'm going to hit Control C. The first response, I'm going to hit Control C. Okay. Now you see that it's closed. It did close. Okay. It did close the socket. So that's the major difference between what this close idle connection would do to us. Okay. Fastify does clo call these close idle connections by default. So um, let's go into my server and this needs to be 20k. Okay. So um, let's try again with Fastify and see what happens. Node server. I'm running my client, same client, and I'm waiting the things, the, the connection in the middle. Okay, I'm hitting Control C, and I'm getting the same exact behavior. The 3000. It because it has severed the socket. Okay. In what happens instead in node v16 okay and in node 16 we're doing the same things but slightly different okay now you see that node 16 stays up and it returns a 503 so this is the major difference between the behavior in node 16 and node 18 okay and in node 18, we are uh, we can close the things very early because of this force close connect because of that force close connection. Okay. Now, if we go back in core, though. Okay. See this. In in core, you see the difference between having the close connection or not, right? So um, in the node 19, what changed? is that we can do node core.js and we don't need to call the close idle connection to do to do our things so here i'm hitting ctrl c and now you can see that it the server has closed correctly and you get a three uh, the, uh, on the second request it it it, it, it crashes and says oh, this is not available okay uh, and the server will retry blah 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 it will do its own thing um so the what needs to be done now here it's um so you see you so basically this is not needed anymore okay what changed in uh so this is essentially the major behavior change between node 16 and node 19 and this is essentially what um so what does fastify do okay let's add a little bit more stuff in our example here okay so um so if we go in our fastify code base uh ooh, it's dash. okay if we go in our fastify code base and i'm picking up um commit here okay oh okay and if we go in here what was happening is that in um route.js Which was might might be wrong. It oh sorry, fastify.js. No, just a sec. It's yes, yeah, it's, oh, returned five or three on closing. Okay. So the problem was that five or three on closing. The problem was that we had a test to exercise that behavior that we return a five or three. Okay. The problem in 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 was that we in in previous versions of um uh, on node we could control this and we could actually return a five keep the con the socket open up until the socket closed now that is is, is a little bit uh, a risk a security risk uh, to some extent 
So, um, because you keep uh, for a denial of service attacks. So basically you open a, 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 a connection and it stays open even if it's not transmitting up until some timer as, as, as triggered. So uh, we, uh, but anyway, that was the only way we could do and could implement it in bef before. Now, the problem is that we had tests that relied on, on, on this topic, okay? These return 503 on closing. And the tests that were failing were um, on um, the close pipelining folder. Close, close pipelining. So now you see that it has force close connection false and return or closing true. So those were the things that were getting me um, really, really, really some problems in in uh, in the last uh, in the last uh, in the last stream and you know it took me an hour to get to the same point so now what change did i do so what change did i had to do to uh, uh, so the fundamental problem where i got stuck and was that i was um, trying to make those tests pass but uh, now, these, I cannot have this behavior that I return a 503 on closing um, in, uh, in Fastify uh, in, in Node 19. So it can just can't exist because otherwise, um, because it's called automatically, okay? Like, the, let's try, let's reproduce it a little bit on, on our core, or my core.js file. So what Fastify does, it keeps a closing uh, folder, a closing uh, variable somewhere, okay, and when we want to close, we set closing true. Now, if w in the handler, when we receive a if closing, okay, we do res uh, status code 503, res and uh, server is closing, okay, and return. That's what Fastify does. If closing is set, this is return 503 on closing. Okay, cool. So um, let's try the difference between those two things. And uh, uh, oh, it also does res uh, uh, set header, and we do connection and close to communicate that bye bye this this is over okay and so this is the the gist so what does it do in oh sorry node uh, nvm use 18 we run our core node core.js we run the client it's running it's running it's getting a response i'm hitting control c waiting for 5 seconds And it closed. Yes. It closed. Why it closed? Sorry. So this is not 18. I am not calling. Ha, uh, yes. Sorry. Let's, let's make this shorter. And I need to increase keep a lifetime out to 10 seconds here. Okay, not core, client. And did close. Keep alive, max time out. And it did close the connection. Uh. Uh, 
three. So not core. Oh. Super quick. Why it's super quick? Which mistake did I do? Likely something a bit very odd. Yeah. Hmm. So node core, client, closing, closed. It's disconnecting. Why it's disconnecting? It's disconnecting. NVM use sixteen not core there should be some mistake here. Because this makes no sense. Let's see what um, Undici does as events. Connect, disconnect. Okay. So we have a true events and a connect and disconnect event. So in here, I can do client on connect. connected and then I do client on disconnect okay let's try again very odd There is a change here. I think there is just a second. Eh? Uh -huh. Default five seconds. Here it is. So the keep alive. To, uh, okay. Come on. I keep making these this, this mistakes. So, okay. So here we need to um, server keep a lifetime out. Let's increase this to 10 seconds for, for our sake. Okay, so keep the connection alive for 10 seconds. Okay, so here, admitting control C, yep, didn't work as expected again. Keep alive, timeout. Didn't work as expected. Why didn't work as expected? Oh, sorry, wrong. Let's go in, in the node core. Okay, it is. Keep alive, timeout. 
keep a live time out. Five seconds. So, oh. so here, keep a live time out, 10, and 10. Close immediately. Why does close immediately? Put a five second mark here. Okay. Okay. Okay, now it's working as expected. No, still no. We have, by the way, if somebody tells you that doing live streaming is easy, it's uh, people will, you know, it's totally not easy thinking and talking, thinking and doing things at the same time. It's actually very hard. Um, so where the heck this, so the client it is not, finishes the first request so this is the first one request twist is going ah uh, it never was there uh, yeah pretty much so if I click close immediately how how it's even possible okay so sorry I am um, totally lost in all of this The connection should stay open. Why it's closing the freaking con the freaking connection on this? This should not be needed. Ha! I put a too many. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Ah. Here we go. I'm hitting Control C. Ah! Now, okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, I'm very happy. So now I, I was able to, 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 so, okay, this is the problem. Okay. So we have uh, the Core.js is work. So Core.js is actually working as we would expect. So we have the, the server. Okay. So we are creating, so the, in the server, we are setting up a keep a lifetime out of 10 seconds, more, for example. 
We can even reduce this to, to five, whatever. The point that i just using large numbers to show you the case. Normally these are very tiny, but there are connection in flight. So a connection comes in on the server, on the client, and open up a socket, okay? And when, what Fastify is doing is keeping this closing, this closing variable here. When you try to close the server, it said closing true, and so that the next request will return a 503, okay? In, uh, to tell the, the server go away, okay? So we run the server, the node core now, and now on the second request, what it will happen is so now do we close this, whatever. And when we come, when the second request comes through, it's, uh, uh, oh yeah, it's, it's not adjacent. So it's, I need to stringify adjacent, but the concept should be. Should be the same. Okay. And so the, so the concept should be the same. Now we now closing is hitting and we are returning the server and we are getting a 503 as a response so that it's um, telling bye this is not what we want okay so here we want to do maybe data rest status code and here it's rest status code okay so we do here, let's try it again. We run the client and we hit uh, control C here and you can see that now we return a 503 correctly. And now if I run my uh, Fastify server, okay, and I'm doing the same, hitting control C, it's closing and now you're going to get your uh, uh, your 503 service unavailable. Okay, so that's uh, 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 what we what works in Node 16. Okay, in Node 18, okay, NVM use 18. It work more or less. Um, sorry, let's run core first. Node uh, Node core. Um, and in Node in in Node uh, 18, this works exactly the same. Okay, it has the exact same logic. It keeps the socket open. Okay. Uh, um, no, every, it's not just Node. Okay, it's everybody struggling in programming. So, so yeah, pretty much everybody. Okay. So also speaking and uh, um, uh, doing live streaming, basically, it's use my brain weirdly. Um, so essentially, this is uh, returning a five of three. Okay. The server is closing. Okay. Now, uh, in uh, this is core, okay? Now, what I can do though, is I can turn on this um, server close uh, idle connection in node 18. In the node 18, if I do that and I run my client, okay? Now you will see that I am getting uh, Uh, oh, it's correct. Yes, um, it's okay. It's correct. So it's um, node eighteen is behaving. Ah, yeah, I need to do this differently. So I'm running my client, okay? And if I am timing it correctly, where I hit in control C now, you will see that this uh, closes, the server closes immediately because the socket is, um, uh, it's actually closing the socket, okay? Which is what we want. We want to achieve that the socket is closed. Uh, and we don't need to wait forever until the client closes the socket. Okay, so what for us? Let's do waiting for four seconds here, so that is hot. Okay. So, um, so, so what? Okay, because the question is so what? Um, now let's go and see. So in node uh, 19, okay, in in node 19, 
even if I am commenting this out, okay, and I'm removing this behavior, okay, in node 19, okay, I need to finish the first request. Now I'm quitting closing, okay. Sorry, which node am I on? Oh yeah, sorry, NVM use 19. You know, I need to switch to node 19. So in node 19, if I do the exact same thing as node 18, okay, without the uh, server closing, the, the closer idle connection, you see that I get the exact same behavior, even if I don't specify close all connections, close idle connection, okay? Cool, so, uh, command uh, uh, this becomes server close idle connection became the default behavior in 19.0.0 okay. let's do okay so Mm. Okay. So you we can command and uncomment this to to control it, and in non eighteen we don't need to specify this at all. Cool. So why what changed in Fastify? So in Fastify. Okay, so the, the tests of Fastify were failing because uh, we were trying to test uh, those, be we were trying to verify that behavior. So yes, with non 18 it will close them for you. Yes, okay, it will essentially close those idle connections um, automatically. Fastify was doing the, was doing the closing for you beforehand. Uh, on, uh, but you could disable it. Okay, so in Fastify, by default on node 18, okay, and VM uh, and VM use 18, okay, in Fastify, what you could do is you get your first request, then you get the response, then I hit Control C, okay, and the server is closed and you get it. It's the, this is the behavior you were getting with Fastify with Node 18, it's fine. Fastify does the right thing, okay? It closes the socket and makes sure everything works fine. But on Node 19, okay, the, but you can disable this behavior in Fastify. So you could do a return 503 of clo on closing false. And if you, sorry, not return, for, it's, Force, uh, force close connection false, okay? And if you set force close connection false in Fastify, you can um, do, you can see that it's not closing the connections. And it's, uh, um, okay. Uh, sorry, it's force close connection for which version no dash V. Uh, force cross connection force. Oh yeah, return 503 on closing. True. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I know. That. <coughs> Sorry about this. Um, I need to do. Um, App server keep alive timeout same fix that I did before. Yeah, mistake. Yes, this closes the socket. Force cross connection. Oh, 
on node core, okay, node core JS. Are you still following me? Cool. Okay. I can run this and then I can control C and this works. Okay. And here, if I set so this does its job. Very okay. So this is behavior in Node 18. NVM use so let's go a little bit on seven and oh, it tells C oh. Problem was that Fastify had a bug. And no, still didn't have a bug. It didn't. B and C. Node dash B U sixteen. Okay, and I am running my server. On node sixteen, I am getting the response. Okay. On node and VM use 18, the server is closing, okay. Um, even if, even though we did not call all the idle connections. Why it did close again? Because connection false. And we had this is block is, is not like let's put an if in here. But should not matter at all. Okay. Keep a light timeout. Keep a light timeout. What did we set on core just a second? We set the keep a light timeout to 10,000. And in our server, we did set it to, uh, wait a second, this is going to be ignored because in, we need to keep a lifetime out. 
Oh, default is 72 seconds. So we don't need to set it probably. Let's see. It closes the connection anyway. In node 18. Interesting. But she's not behaving this way. Sorry. Core, if I'm running core, okay. If I'm running core, core JS client, I'm hitting control C, okay. And it's this is node node 18 okay it's not closing the server okay um in fastify if i am running oh sorry i need to go back into core yeah, I need this is okay. Sorry. So let's say that I am in core. I'm running the client, I'm hitting control C. It's waiting the response to finish processing and then keeps going. Yes. And if I hit core, I hit the client. And if I control C right now, it closes the socket. So core works exactly as it should work on node V18 and V19. Fastify on the other end does not. So um, very interesting stuff. Uh, so node server dot js and I'm hitting this and this closes immediately. What the heck? Why is this doing this? It's doing some stupid stuff because if I use NVM use 16 and I'm doing this and I'm hitting control C, it's working as expected. So what the heck did I change? 
and if I do NVM use 18 it's now not working the plot thickens. The plot thickens quite a lot, actually. Let's go into the Fastify code base and CVLib grab close. Let's see if we have some connection close. Yeah, in route, in route, connection close, if you are closing. If you are closing, we set connection close as header. Yeah, makes total sense. Um, but this is at the very beginning of the flow. Uh, keep alive. Where where did I made a typo? Nifty. Did where did I made a typo? I make typos. Where did I? Did I made a typo? Did I made a typo somewhere? K key key keep alive fastify typo. There. Con destroy. Um. Uh, nope, it didn't work. Uh, In here, can destroy. Yeah, what typo? What typo is there? I Line four, four to eight. And what is the typo? Yeah, so the key keep alive connections is a constant, it's a symbol. So I use, we use in Fastify, we use a lot of private symbols to define pri private properties. So. Yeah. Close idle. Okay, if I comment this out. Still close everything. What does router close routes do? Find my way. Find my way, Fastify router. So, close routes. No, it's not here. 
Um, oh, build routing. Okay, build routing. Okay, build routing, lib route. Okay, so route, close routes. Oh, yeah, this sets closing true. Okay. Mm. Ready. Very weird. This should not happen. Cool. Um, you know, I uh, this is at this point in time um, a little bit late uh, for me, and uh, I need to go to dinner. So um, I will say that um, we'll continue next time in this uh, wild goose change of why fastify and close and graceful closing do not work as expected so much fun um, i found myself quite a good topic depth of the belly to see the problem um, um something that i would do is i would upload the code that i've done so far in in a repo uh, in a gist probably or a repo i don't know so that you can possibly follow and download it and if you find something, you will let me know. But, you know, this is fun because this should not be working as it, in this way. Absolutely not. Like, super duper not. So much fun. V16 works as expected, but um, I don't know why. Like, the code is there, but I don't know. Okay. So, ha, ah, who knows? Okay, um, I'll, uh, I'll need to dig deep and we will dig deep in the next session. Thank you for having stayed with me so far tonight and uh, talk, uh, talk soon. Bye, folks. Bye-bye.